All right, so uh, we have that table. So I'm going to get rid of this and I just keep the family file. Make sure you're safe. So we have this family already, right? So, but it's just a dining table. We need chairs. Uh, so this time we will create a dining table. Uh, actually, we'll create the uh, uh, the chairs, and we're gonna have different options. So we're gonna have the small table with four or six uh, chairs and the big table with six or eight chairs. Uh, we're not actually creating the chairs, we're gonna use uh, an existing family, uh, but what we're going to do is set the parameters so that we can get rid of those chairs that we don't want when we change the, uh, the size of the table. So first, we need to save this and we need to save it as something else. We want to keep this as two separate files. And just add with chairs. Now one thing that you may want to do is create a folder for every family or for every file that you create because remember that we're getting uh, depending on your options we're getting at least 10 files right those are the backup files uh, so if you want to keep everything organized uh, I would suggest that you create a folder for every single one of the of the different files that you have so that you have the original file and all the backups in the same location uh, if not, that's fine. It's just that uh, you can have a bunch of files laying around. And when the time comes to find a backup file uh, because the original file got corrupted, then that's not going to be fun. Uh, but let's get to the assignment. So we're going to start on reference level. And this is going to be a nested family. Uh, if you remember from when we were creating the stair, the stair was also a nested family because we had uh, multiple families inside of that one. So we had uh, the stair and we had the railing. Actually, I believe the stringers, the stringers may have been another family, but for sure the, uh, the stair and the railing. Uh, so we're going to load a family here. So let's go to, actually, before we do that, we're going to change the uh, the family type. So before we went here to flex it, now we're going to go up here and choose a different category. Uh, and this is not the template. The template you're going to change, but you can change the family category. Uh, this just means that when you go to look for the family, it's going to be in a different folder. Right when you go to load families, they are separated into different folders. Right now we have this one in furniture, but now it's going to be a furniture system because now it's not just one piece; it's multiple pieces creating uh, one family. Uh, don't worry about anything else here, and just click OK and save it again. What's that? Oh, here. And furniture will be highlighted, and then you have to click on furniture system and click OK. Yeah, just save, not save us. So now we're going to bring in a family. So let's go to insert, load family. Uh, and it went back to the title blocks because that's where I was before. Uh, so let's go back one step to English Imperial. Go to furniture, seating, and 
we're going to choose the brewer chair. So that's this one. So we're going to double click on it. And nothing happened. That's because this is not a uh, project file. This is a family file. So in order to place it, you have to go to create. Oops. No, where is it? Yes, create, and then click on component. Now you can place the chair. So this one, you can just place it, whatever, somewhere close to uh, the middle. And then hit escape or click on modify twice. Yes, it's hidden. <laughs> yeah, it, sometimes it goes to my other screen or sometimes it just hit him down here for some reason. Uh, yeah, but I'm recording. Uh, any other questions? Yep, all right. Uh, if anybody sees that I'm close to 15 minutes and I'm just going and going, just please let me know. So otherwise I have to break up the, uh, uh, the video into two. All right, so now we're going to go to... I have another question. Oh, yes. When you loaded the family, you chose, um, you chose furniture, but prior to that you went into... Um, uh, no. The furniture system was before uh, bringing in the chair. Okay. And then I went to load family. And then I looked for the chair. Double click on the chair, but nothing happened. So I had to go to create and click on component. Okay. All right. So now that we have the chair, this one is going to be center so what we have to do is go to uh, 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 modify align and we're going to align to the center of the table right so we're constraining it to the center and then we're going to align the center of the chair and lock it we're going to do the same but now we're going to align with this uh, with the uh, with this side of the table, and we're going to align the center of the chair. So now, if I oops, I didn't lock it. It's locked to that one, but not to that one. Lock it. So now, if I change from the small table to the large table. The chair is, this one is centered, so it doesn't matter if it changes the width. But if it changes the depth, then the, uh, the chair will always be, the center of the chair will always be aligned with the edge of the table because I'm constraining it to that reference point. Uh, we can flex it, but nothing's going to happen right? because it's, cent actually it's going to happen. It has to move in or out. So if I go to the small table, they should move up. If I go to the large one, then it should move down. Now we're going to click OK. And we're going to add another chair. Just go back to create component and add another one that's uh, it's close to this one. Doesn't really matter. Now, where should we place this one? So it should be locked and lined with this as well, right? So that it moves. So this is going to be aligned with that, and then we're going to lock it. And now what? 
or should I lock it? To the left leg. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to. I placed it too close. Just going to move it again. Again, I'm going to go there. And this side to here. The center. Align it. But then that's going to be on top of this one. No, the, the, cent the center of the chair to the left line. The center of the chair to this line? Yeah. But then that thing's going to be in your legs. Uh, actually, this uh, chairs are usually not that far apart. And they're also not too close to the edge because we're going to have another chair here. All right, so what we're going to do with this one, I'm just going to delete it and add another one. Equal, it's going to be too close. This is the big table, right? Yes, yeah, like it. Yeah, it's too close. They are two feet apart. That's too much. Let's see what happens if we have it equal here. That looks better. And align it with this. To lock this. Actually, yeah, I'm going to lock this. Then it's not going to be symmetrical. Yeah, but your legs are pretty bad. Move this one. Yeah. But this has to be in the middle. Alright. <laughs> uh, oops, getting too close to 15 minutes. Uh, we'll continue on another video.